Hey guys, uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, it's a new year, so manze, happy new year. I think I'm allowed to say happy new year. Mwake jazeka sana. And it's a new decade. So excited about this decade, manze. Inile decade, so many things are happening. Most of them get kids this decade. Families, nini nini, major transformation. So I think I've never done a proper intro to my channel. So today let me do that. Um, uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, my good name is Ivan Machanule. Uh, aka Macha, most of my friends call me Macha and uh, yeah, I'm a Ivan I'm a part-time photographer, I'm a part-time blogger I'm also an architect and uh, I also do farming um, at our farm in Embu so guys, uh, for this particular video I'm going to review 2019 because I think it was one of those highlight years for me uh, so many things happened I catapulted my blogging stroke photography thingy I also, um, I also had a kind of shape shaping here in terms of my career architecture also did quite a lot in terms of farming and got like a footing in that area so guys uh, come along as i review the year and see what really happened in 2019 straight to my 2019 review um, i'm really thankful for good 2019 thank god for health 2019 i think uh, one of my major highlights is that i traveled a lot katasi of for most of it but also, I think uh, one of the downsides was that uh, I lost my grandma and uh, it was a bit uh, messy at home. But anyway, thank God. I trust God for uh, better times ahead. I think we're going to focus more on the travel bit because uh, that's why you're in this channel and that's why I'm in this channel. Hey, 2019 was quite the year in terms of travel. Hey, 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 hey. I visited so, so, so many new places. Places I never thought I, I would visit, uh, sincerely, honestly speaking. I think one of the major things that happened in 2019, which helped me travel a lot, is that I was able to partner, I was fortunate enough to partner with Mufasa Travels. It's a tour company based in Kenya, which focuses on everything in terms of travel, uh, both inside and outside the country. I was taken in as their photographer, stock blogger. So every time they would go for a trip, I would be um, doing the trip. Of course, for me, it's facilitated. I don't pay. But uh, of course, um, I go and uh, I offer my photography and blogging services to them. Um, I went to so many different places. I think uh, between uh, January and uh, March and uh, May, I only visited like three different places. That was Kerio. We went to Kerio Valley. Hey, that road trip was lit. Guys, the roads are so heavy. The Rift Valley is so marvelous, yani. guy. I think that's the beauty of travel. As in, it leaves you speechless at first, then turns into a storyteller. What I saw there, the Kerio divers, man, the guy, those guys have guts. What? I think that was just a perfect way to, to start the to start the year. For the first time, I went to Tanzania with a, a close, a really close group of uh, mine, a close friends of mine. We had planned the trip as a car, Kumi, but Kawaida uh, wa Africa, you plan a trip on your ten, Munenenga mkuwa wili, but then you planned to go on So yeah, uh, it was really, it was really a highlight. It was uh, the first time in Tanzania. We went to uh, Moshi, Kikuletwa, Arusha. It was. Trust me, you guys, it was epic. And if you're not going to Tanzania, Manze, and any Manze, when that is end, you can't go to America, Nairobi. It's that close. See, Bali, so you don't go, and you just need your passport. I'm a Kamuna passport, uh, an instant temporary permit on, on e citizen, and you're on a fever card, which is uh, for life. So, guys, there's no excuse really why you've not uh, ventured out to TZ. So, yeah, that was quite a bit. Then that is now when I linked up with Mufasa. Since May, because that was the first trip with Mufasa, I've been to 10 different destinations with Mufasa. I've started out with Chaka, then I went for my first uh, safari, which is uh, for my first game drive, which was to my Samara. Then after that, uh, we went to Amboseli, um, then we went, to, we went for snorkeling in Wasini for three days, which is a good package by day. Uh, check it out if you have it this year with Mufasa, don't miss out. Um, then we went to Abadeas, we went to uh, Old Jogi, we went to Lake Bogoria. Eish, Lake Bogoria by the was lit. The flamingos, manze. Then I went back to Masai Mara again, but this time with a, a, a group from abroad. That is the vlog I put out yesterday. Please watch it if you have not watched so far. 
and uh, yeah, go see a bit. I've shared a bit more on my blogging journey there also, and how I'm, I manage to blog and work and uh, do all these things all in one. I think after that we went to Samburu, which was maybe a highlight. We did the Avengers challenge. But if you have not watched it, go see it. But it's on the, it's on, it's, it's on my social media. That was a good thing. But they, as in Samburu, Samburu was a highlight. I didn't know Samburu would be that fun. Um, Buffalo Springs, but they, as in swimming in the wild, it was thrilling. But they, yeah, and also I had, uh, I had my crew. We traveled with uh, close friends of mine. Kina TJ, Kina Keith, Kavata, Lucy. But again, uh, the, the rest of Team Adventure crew, but they. I hope this year there will be one trip where CC Water that okay, at least to Moja, simply at least Moja Mande. After Buffalo Springs, now we went to Zanzibar. I went to Zanzibar twice, by the The first time we went for reconnaissance with the, the Mufasa crew. Then the next time now we went with the, the, the people who had booked the trip for, for Zanzibar. And I think that was, I think, one of my best moments in my life in, in 2019. The first trip, but the, the first uh, reconnaissance trip was like one week long. One week in Zanzibar in Tanzania and it felt like two days maybe. I'm saying we are to shake it. Then we went back again. It was also thrilling because for the second time I got to visit places I not visited in the first time. So yeah, I think uh, reviewing my 2019 in Master's Travel, my best destination overall was Zanzibar definitely. I think when the year started, I had not thought I would for any any one moment be in Zanzibar. I just thank God I found myself in Zanzibar, in Zanzibar. not once but twice. Wow. Yeah, Zanzibar was one big highlight for the year. So many so, so many different places to explore. So many new things tried out. Jet skis, water, jet skis. Um, the rock, the rock restaurant. Zanzibar was quite a good highlight. Then um, I think my best Kenyan destination for 2019, I think I love the beach. So it has to be Wasini. Wasini was one big highlight also. Because in that same trip, I did so many things. For the first time, I went to the elephant tusks at Mombasa. Um, for the first time, I went to Mamba Village, which was quite a highlight. I held a crocodile with my own hands. Um, also, I was able to see the best sunrise of my entire life. The sun came out, kidogo kidogo, from the horizon, up, up, up. I think this was a good, good, good sight. Also, I think we went to Wasini. It was a good thing, snorkeling. You never get tired of snorkeling. It's always a good experience. Seafood, uh, island tours, coral boardwalks. That was a good thing. I think uh, my best camping uh, experience has to be what now? Hey, that one I'm, I'm torn between Samburu and uh, Abadeas. Gani sasa, gani sasa, Samburu, Abadeas. So you be the judge because you've watched my vlogs. Uh, tell me which one was your best as a viewer. 2019, I must say, was a good year also in terms of uh, blogging, photography, and uh, video and uh, social media because I was able to grow on Instagram. Ataka masi wengi. 800 to 1400 was quite something for me. Also, 200 subscribers on YouTube to 650 subscribers was quite a, a good thing for me with over 80,000 accumulated views. That was, that, was, that was good. And I hope in 2020 that uh, Instagram, if you get at least 3K, 5K EV, YouTube, I really, really hope to reach at least 2,000 subscribers. I know 1,000 will reach. So, guys, please share this content share with your friends. I think uh, looking forward to 2020, I hope to explore different places that I've not been to. I hope to travel to new destinations. Um, I hope to have my first flight experience. I'm not sure, but I might do a long flight. I don't know, but I'm not planned. I don't have the money, but I hope to like, do a long flight, maybe to Dubai or somewhere, I don't know. Uh, check with me uh, at the end of 2020 to see if this will come to pass. Also, I think uh, something I'm looking forward to is uh, the partnership with Mufasa because I know we're going to grow and uh, get better, even as a company. Um, uh, of course, um, I'm looking forward to a better year in terms of architecture, uh, more projects, maybe I'm an architect, maybe I'm an architect, but 
I'm a well-traveled architect. I think I, I got a taste for design. <laughs> so yeah, bring those works. Bring those works. So uh, in 2020, some of the things I'm really looking forward to is a bit more planning in terms of traveling. I think 2019 was a bit more less planned and spontaneous. But in 2020, I hope to a bit plan it better. And uh, when uh, more personal trips and uh, plan trips with myself as a solo traveler, but also with the close family and friends, that in 2019 did, didn't happen as much. So yeah, as a team adventure, I really hope this year to travel Pamoja. Last year we really slept on it. In 2019, I hope to visit Magoroto Forest, a really good place in Tanzania. I also hope to at least uh, do an exploration as a solo traveler to the North Coast, but it didn't, it didn't happen. So in 2020, Magoroto, hope to see you. Also hope to be um, in North Coast and explore North Coast and all the options it has to offer. I hope for a good year, healthy year, more fit year in terms of fitness, um, uh, better year in terms of financial management and um, spending and recording. I just hope for a good year and uh, yeah, this year, if you'd like to be part of my vlog, the, the simplest thing you have to do is just book a trip with Mufasa and I am always there as the photographer and vlogger. Uh, but also probably this year I'll uh, try and organize like a random trip with uh, my followers, my fans. I don't know, I don't know, cross, cross fingers, let's see how that will happen. And this place is called Seagull. Clearly, you know, it's a really good place. I really love to hang out over here, have a cup of tea as I think about life and all. So yeah, check it out if you're around Georgia or um, around Dikaron. It's a good place. Also for events, you can see they have a really good garden. A really good garden, really good uh, reception and a really good setting. So check it out, Seagull, Georgia. Thank you for always watching. Thank you for always for subscribing. Thank you for always commenting. While I was the notification gang, Monday, thanks a lot. Maybe if you haven't, just tap on the notification icon. Then you'll be notified every time I post a video. This year, I hope to be more consistent on my YouTube, on my Instagram, on all my social media platforms. And uh, yeah, put out more content, uh, improve, improve even further my editing. Uh, be better in terms of delivering vlogs. Mystica is standing on vlogs. Uh, let's just see how the year will go. Yeah, really, really thankful for, good, for really, really hopeful for a good year. And uh, thank you guys. Thank you for always watching. And I know this year will be a good year for you and for me. So guys, thank you a lot. And uh, see you at the end of 2020 when you're reviewing again. <laughs>